Welcome to our course, Learning, Teaching and Curating, Situated Digital Experience in Museums. I would like to present myself. I am an artist. I have a bachelor degree from Bezalel Art Academy in Ceramics Design and Master in Art History. I was a member in the Science and Arts Education Committee in middle and high school in the Israeli Ministry of Education. Seven years ago, I started my second life. I was fascinated from a technology that encourages visitors to share their ideas and creations in museums and heritage sites. I became an expert in created situated learning maps around museums and heritage sites. My life philosophy is dance wherever you can. Here I am in my Jetta jump in the Richard Serra sculpture in San Francisco, MoMA. The course was designed for you, teachers from all levels of education, curators in art, anthropology, archaeology, natural history museums, and botanical gardens. The cactus in the greenhouse in the botanic garden in Copenhagen, the city model from Puebla, Mexico, where I was a visiting lecturer, here you have an arrow to identify the cathedral. The Greek couple from Banaki Museum in Athens. These plants and objects are part from the evolution, historic and ethnographic story. In the course, we will learn how to integrate them into a coherent digital interactive story. I would like to emphasize that the interaction means activities that are suggested by you for visitors slash, slash students in situ. Just when we are in front of the cactus in the botanical garden, we can estimate how old the cactus is. We can ask questions about geography and city planning in front of the city model. We can feel harmony in front of the Greek couple. Welcome to the Israel Museum. The statue at the entrance is by Menashe Kadishman. Ron is a high schooler who came to the museum. While his friends are eating their breakfast, he is exploring the statue. He asks his friends to take a picture. Do you have any idea what was Ron asked to do? We see his first in the right picture his first try, and then we see his second try in the left. Now it's time to hear your ideas. You can write them in the chat. What did I ask Ron to do? It has to be related to the site. So, hands on the com uh, and please write your ideas and what you um, um, think that he was asked to do. Every guess is okay, every guess is fine, don't hesitate. Make yourself look like a statue. It's nice, Tamar, but 
it has to be related to the site, to the statue. Okay, so think about an activity that I asked him to demonstrate and the reason that it's value in front of this site. Very nice, Jose, measure it in some way compared to the proportion. It's very nice. You are a bit, you're closer now, but it has to be, um, uh, it's nice. Okay, I will accept it. Um, I will not uh, be stubborn on, on the, my idea, but do you have an idea that is fun? Because we learn while we are, um, interacting in the site and we have uh, fun. Look at the picture. Uh, okay, I will share my screen again. Look at um, the picture in the left. So uh, now you can open your mic because I cannot see your, um, the chat. If you have any idea um, that is related to the site. Why do you think his mouth is open? Try to connect his gesture to the um, to the statue. Sorry, Talila. What's the name of the of the statue? What's the the title? It's, uh, it's a conic. It's like uh, like tanks. Okay. The, the name of the icon, it's like tense stability. Um, it uh, used to be on land and when they renovated, they put it in, the, uh, in this small pool. So I asked him to be part of the, uh, to be part of the statue. So he tried to um, uh, swallow uh, the, um, uh, the, stat the statue and uh, there are many more activities that can be um, experienced here about perspective, about the colors, and about reflection. This is an example for a leading question that we will ask ourselves. How can we engage our visitors with the objects? For our first lesson, I chose um, the sand clock by the Israeli artist, Danny Caravan. In the container, we have grains. The grains are your professional knowledge and life experience. For the moment, the course and myself are the container. The conus on the ground is the metaphor for your personal project that, will, that you will create. These are your brains that will be shaped in a new way for your public or your students. The second lesson will be devoted to situated learning. I chose the two mats as a metaphor for the lesson. We are the sailors who navigate our visitors around the museum for curators or in the city for those who, of you who are teacher. How do we encourage our visitors slash students to explore our exhibitions in a fun way? We will focus in the lesson on various activities and outcomes around your territory. You will see examples from the open air museums, the Anthropology Museum and Pinerolo. 
a city in northern Italy where I was a visiting lecturer in tourism high school. I chose the Egyptian sculpture to illustrate the third lesson. We see granite statue from Amman in, for, in, uh, in form of ram protecting King Tampawa in the British Museum. There are three elements united in one stone. In this lesson, you will become a content creator. You will create your own, your own first station on the platform. This will be the first cube in the game that you will create. For teachers, it will be the first activity in the school compound that you will create. Here are the three parts of our station. You will choose your favorite object in the museum or a place in your school and will create your interactive experimental learning site. The site has three main components. The description part, the mission that you would like to suggest your visitors to perform, and specific information that explains the reason that you are, as a curator, would like your visitors to perform in front of the object. Now you see the player's interface. That is the way your visitors or your students will see it. We are in the fourth lesson. The shoes are originally from Africa and presented in the Anthropology Museum in Vienna. The creation of the wonder technology was inspired by the philosopher Walter Benjamin. With his keen eye, Benjamin depicted modern life in the city. We will have a glimpse Shani Ziv, the wandering creator, ideas. He supported Benjamin's ideas with a technology. Now, it is time to clarify the importance of connecting educators and museum professionals. The lockdown that we have experienced brought new points of view on the learning processes. It is time to enable our students to explore their cities. In the fire station, they can learn physics and design as well as in the, around the water tower. The city is a living museum. We will become a learning group. We are going to en enjoy each other's ideas. Here is a screenshot of the previous course creation site. So creation site is a site where each one of you will create the content to the right as the creation site. You can see different objects, different places, and to the left, we have the same content spread on the geographical uh, map around the world. So you can see that participants came from four corners of the world. Each one of you will place his object on the map and together we will fill in the words map with experimental learning activities. Number five, so 
Lesson number five is with five acrobats, Mexican acrobats. We can say metaphorically that they are your visitors. They come to the museum to share their creativity. By the fifth lesson, you will have a clear idea about your preferable personal project. Curators, heritage and heritage site ed uh, educators will be able to create games. Here are two examples for games. The glory from uh, at the left side is a game that was created by Christina from the Kunsthistorische Museum in Vienna. You, can, um, uh, you will have this presentation and you will be able to um, explore the site Yen Ram and to see several games that are united together to, on the on Vienna uh, uh, map. To the right, you see the opening page for the Panorama Museum in Bursa. This is a puzzle that was created by Emek, who participated in the last course. So you see that your games are, will be created from template that you will uh, choose for those who of you that are would like to do activities around museum for teachers and educators they will be able to create their school site here is an example from Darwin school in uh, um, Rivoli in Italy so you will be able to have your personal school site or, um, uh, or your personal site with your name and you will be able to edit your content. In the bottom of the creation site, here is the bottom. What you see here is like the back scene behind the scene in the theater. When you prepared your costumes and props for the show. When your activities are ready, you will see them on the map. And here is an example, the way you can gamify your content on the map. On the map, these are students' uh, activities from Complutense University in Madrid. When you create your content on the map, your students or visitors will play around the same territory in a limited time. They will get points and this is the way we gamify the um, territory. Now it's time to practice. So um, I'm going to insert you in the chat um, a link to an activity that you will be able to do around your home. So in a minute you will get it in the chat. Okay, please, um, now it's in the chat. I will share my screen and I will um, help you to follow the steps.
So we are around our sweet home and we are going to explore our home. When you click at the top, the bottom left side corner, you see that there is a drop with three a V. So click, please click on it. And here is your mission. Wander around your apartment, your kitchen, bathroom, or your balcony. Choose an object or a scene that will be the center for your research just for this afternoon. Write a question that would enhance your students' curiosity on a paper. Stick the question to the object or the sin. Share with us your picture. So you can send the link to your phone and before uploading, you will be asked to create your username on the platform. So I am here to support you. We will have, uh, now it's um, 27, we will have um, eight minutes for this till 25 to the next hour. Wander around your home and um, I want to show you examples from uh, previous. Um, wander around your home, and here are examples from previous um, courses. There is a plant and a question, an object and a question. So, um, Please wander around your home and upload it and very soon we will be able to see your ideas. Okay. If you have question, you can open your mic. If it's easier for you to um, uh, ask. Um, and not uh, write it down, you can open your mic and you can ask in a... Claudia, you want to open the mic and explain it in Espanol? כן, בטח. מי צריך עזרה? לא, דברי איתם בספרדית, קלאודיה. אה, כן, נססית שובה? טניה? סוניה מירסלדה, אקוודור, כן, נססית? לא כסתה פרופוניינדו את הלילה נסתם מומנטו, אז כבוסקן אונו פחטו אינטרסנטה, דנטרו דלה קאסה. Y le hagan una pregunta correspondiente eh, con ojos nuevos, como si ustedes vinieran de otro planeta, algo así. Por ejemplo, eh, con, con absoluta sorpresa y desconocimiento de la información acerca de ese objeto. Si quieren preguntar algo más y no fue clara, eh, estoy a qué exposición. Uh, sorry, Talila. We need yeah. to use we need to use the the app, the application 
to take the picture? Uh, you can do it uh, with the app or you can upload it um, um, and then uh, take a picture and then upload. You can okay. send a picture to your phone and, uh, uh, and I then... Can, I can upload with the, with the app, okay? Okay, yeah, 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 you can upload with the app. Okay, perfect, perfect. The best way is to send it to your phone and then um, uh, take a picture with your phone. So I want to um, I want to show you the um, the way you can uh, create your uh, username. You go to the V in the bottom and click on the arrow, the arrow and the rectangular. Then when you try it to write your name, your email, and uh, there is a no such a mail, mail in the system, you will be asked to create your username. Please write your real email so you will get also feedbacks from your uh, um, activities uh, later. This mail will um, uh, support you during the course and then when you join or you can join with your gmail you will be able to upload your personal photo yeah 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 the picture is from your home the picture is from um uh, it's an object it's a photo that you take. It can be a plant, something special that you have souvenir, because our homes are like museums, something that will arise curiosity among us. We are a learning group. That's the way we will um, uh, do. So um, uh, this is the most important is the connection between the object and the question that you would like to ask. What is the object that you choose and what is the, ob the question that uh, you ask about it? Don't worry, I will not ask you or each one of us to answer the question. It's the, just um, um, an exercise about the connection and the way we think about activity around objects. Situated learning is in the site in our home so it's just an exercise that we will uh, enjoy it in very shortly. So if you want to see your um, friend's ideas,
If you want to see your friends' ideas, you can go to the top right corner where is a drop with three dots. When you click on it, I see that uh, uh, Georgia, uh, thank you. Um, she asked uh, about her landscape. Where in the world uh, is this uh, landscape? Orly, I cannot read your question, but I see that it's interesting. Who is the real mosquito mosquito in the house? <laughs> ah, okay. Who is the real mosquito in the house? I will uh, refresh it and um, see your uh, uh, more ideas. I will wait because I see that. Um, רגע, אורלי, את משתפת מסך? כן, כן, אני סוגרת את זה. אוקיי, let me know if you have questions regarding the first mission. I see that slowly, slowly you are uh, adding your... Uh... Ah, this is a big question, Yoko. Thank you. What type of... Uh, uh, you type the question in. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, here is your screen. Yoko? Who is the screen? Yes. Now? Thank you, thank you for sharing. Okay, you typed the question in, thank you. This is very original. Okay, thank you, very aesthetic, very artistic. I like it. Oh, so Dvora, I see um, your place, but did you type in the object, the question, Dvora? You can open your mic. No, no, it's party, it's Sheila. Okay. And what's the question that you asked? מה עושים במקום הזה? אה, אוקיי. דבורה עדת את הפול, והיא רוצה לשאול... אני לא יודעת אם זה פול, זה טאבל, אני לא יודעת, זה רפלקשן. זה מאוד נהיה פיקטור. מה אנחנו עושים פה? מריה, מה היא השאלה שלך? אני רוצה לשאול את זה. אני רוצה לשאול את זה. אני רוצה לשאול את זה. אני Maria, can you open your mic and, and see and say what is your question? Um, you you don't uh, type the you don't have to type the uh, the question in 
you can stick it, you can write it down and, and uh, stick it. Ah, okay, somebody wrote to you, okay. Marisol, thank you. So you see now that as educators and professional, this is an example of the way we gather our visitors and students' inputs and ideas when we give them a, uh, a mission. That's stay here and you will be able to um, make a research and explore in a qualitative and quantitative way your students' achievements in the gallery. We call it a gallery. So... Um, oh, sorry, Talila. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to, to up, upload my, my picture, but I, I have some problems maybe i i have registered yeah i see that you registered just now but and now for for the upload uh please can you explain what's the next step to do okay i will share my screen because now i'm in in this screen that you are showing now you are here Yes. Okay, so um, uh, the next step is against the clock. It's yeah. bottom right, click here. Okay. And click on the blue rectangular. Okay. And here put your uh, name and email and your password for the platform. Okay. And then it will you will be able to upload. Now I log in successfully, you see? I was logged in and now I will be able to upload for my pictures. Yeah, the problem is that I have like... Uh, just one second, yeah, now, huh? okay. I have like... Uh, a warning with a red cross in the in the download and don't don't permit me to i don't know why uh, don't know did do you use your uh, chrome browser yes a chrome yeah and uh, do you save it as jpeg or png there is no no problem because I see okay. that I will try again. They, um, upload it and um, okay, so I we will go just for yeah. just la last look here. I see that uh, Marisol uh, added and Maria and Yoko. And now when I click on the right, on the right bottom, it's the eye for the information. I see the information that I wrote about this activity. You have experienced the way curators and educators face when they plan an interactive activity around the exhibition. Questions create the challenge that make us learn. That's a quote from Erwin Siegel. To the bottom you see tags that I tag this station and the rate that I rated, people rated this station. You can rate now the activity. How do you like it? And um, uh, I close it now and uh, the site will be open for you at uh, so during, uh, you will be able to upload it later 
in the question time, I uh, really encourage you to um, stay here and complete your mission just for your feeling you did it. Uh, so um, now we are going to our um, uh, sixth lesson. Um, The sixth lesson will be devoted to the scientific monitoring digital tool on the platform. The exhibition is a result of scientific knowledge. Here we can see six insects from the Natural Museum in Lisbon. Our question is, is how do we intermediate our academic knowledge with the public. That will be in the sixth lesson. Uh, a minute because I see that somebody wrote in the chat and I want to see uh, what they are see. Can uh, Orlianta. Okay, thank you, Orly. Um, so in the sixth lesson, we will um, um, will design our scientific monitoring as part as as from your activities around the museum or your school. Here are examples for scientific monitoring tools. We can ask how many hours did the lady devote to her uh, hair styling? How far the discus thrower can, um, uh, how many meters can he reach? And we can ask in the botanical garden, how many bamboos are there in one square meters. So you can see that even in the Anthropology Museum, we can integrate scientific monitoring tool to make our visitor thinks about what they see in front of them. The uh, seventh and the eighth lesson will be devoted to digital cura curation from an experience to, the, to a wholeness. And the street art, in the street art, you follow the public taste. When you stand in front of this garage door in London, you can feel the power of the crowd. From this lesson on, we will work in two parallel groups. Teachers who would like to improve their professional skills will improve their sites, their school sites. And curators will create the game, their games. you will be free to choose your theme for a game. Here are three thematics games that were created by students from previous courses. The location is in the, an educational compound that was established by the Danish mission in India. Yana, a former student, created a game around an exhibition in the Far East collection. So the result is the ceremony tea. When visitors complete their missions, they get one utensil for the tea ceremony. Historic roles, Christine and Christina from Vienna created the Hunterwasser route around Vienna. Participants choose a rule, 
architect, art historian, or ecologist, and follow their steps. The accordion from Mexico. You have to practice in order to herald your voice as a digital content creator. Now it's time for you to try out your game. You will finish your game by the end of the course and you will try them out. As an accordion player, each one of each time that you will play the game, you will, with your visitors, you will get feedbacks. You will be able to conduct a research and evaluate your visitors' insights and inputs in a qualitative and quantitative ways. You are going to create a site that will promote your professional skills. And you will present, you will have a chance to present yourself. To the left, we see Michaela, who created a tour about the Jewish historic quarter in Vienna, and she embedded a video. Jasmine in the center created a tour around, uh, she is a curator in Ziegelberg House in India, and she created a tour around her compound. Christine and Christina design icons inspired by Kunderwasser, so they invited us to follow his philosophy. At the end of the 10th lesson, you will have your personal site. The image is a McCann model of a boat on a carriage. I chose it as a metaphor for your personal voyage at the end of the course. We are the vehicles. Your site is your boat, is the boat. Now, you're the sailor who will take your visitors or students as far as you wish. Now, I would like to ask to answer questions that uh, um, you sent me before um, our meeting. Do I need to complete my museum project during the course or can I do it later? So here are three screens from Emek project in Bursa in Turkey. That is a complete site. So to the left you see the opening scene. In the center, you can see two options for her visitors. And to the left, to the right, you see the game. So by the end of the course, you will complete the two sides, the left and the center. And on, on your pace, you will be able to edit your activities. So if you have question about this template, uh, you can type it uh, in the chat. Um, okay. The course, this lesson was for free for you, and the course is 10 um, lessons, and, oh, I forgot, uh, uh, the, the course is 10 lessons, and uh, it will cost $100, and in addition to the 
uh, course, you will get a license. Here is the, um, in this slide, you can see the course is $100 for the tutoring and the technology. You will have a yearly license for a museum run site or a creation site for your school and you will have a personal evaluation site. Did I answer your question, Lillian? Yes, yes, uh, Talia, you got it. Okay. Um, so I would like to go to another question that I was asked. How can visitors explore the museum from home? You are going to create a site that will enable you to engage your visitors in several levels. From home, they, they will be able to hear your audio guide and prepare for the visit. They will be able to answer questions that are based on the visual and textual information. Then, when they will encounter your exhibition, they will be challenged by authentic mission. Are there any questions about this um, slide, this topic? So you have one week that um, uh, you um, you can ask me question and uh, write me or we can meet again in the Zoom. You are asked to register to the course and uh, during the week and uh, 